Today, I get a bit upset. Oh, ik kan er gewoon niet bij, gast. I, I just can't reach it. I get a bit excited. Let's do this! And Siri doesn't cooperate. Siri, just play a random song! What's good? It's the Hunter Hoffman back with insane content! In this video, we're gonna crank up the volume and install some new mods. No, not like that. I dragged in an insane sponsorship deal in celebration of hitting 4 million subscribers! Insane! So let's see what happened. We're back! We're back on the M2! So after last episode's rebuild, we're finally able to do some new mods. So today we're gonna install the speaker upgrade by Bath Sound. Bath Sound was kind enough to sponsor the Hunter Hoffman with a speaker upgrade for the M2. We may have had a little accident there, but the quality of this stuff is super good, so there's nothing to worry about. So we're gonna start out by removing the seats, as the subwoofers are located under the seats. Then we're gonna remove the door panels and the rest of the trim covering the other speakers. So let's... <sighs> Do this, calm and collected. Let's do this! Alright, so as I said, we're first going to remove the seats as the subwoofers are located under the seats. So there are two T50 bolts over here and two on the opposite side of the seat. Bath Sound also provides a toolkit to do the whole installation of the speaker upgrade. They also kindly provided me with this toolkit, so we're going to use it to do the installation. So we're going to start out over here. Then slide the seat forward, and repeat the process in the rear. And then disconnect the wire harness of the seat. Simply push in this tab, and then pull the black lever back. And now it's a matter of removing the seat altogether. And repeat the process on the other side. So to get to the subwoofer, we would first need to remove this panel. To do so, we're going to undo 4 T20 bolts. There we go. Alright, so next up we're going to remove 4 T15 bolts. Some of these are a bit hidden under the carpet, as with this one for instance. Alright, so before removing the subwoofer, we're first going to disconnect it. There we go. So the- oh damn. That's pretty insane. So there we have it, one subwoofer removed. Alright, so now we're going to install the new bath sound subwoofer. So the subwoofers and speakers are all plug and play, so we should be able to simply connect it. Then we're going to carefully slide it in place. Then it's a matter of putting these T15 screws back in. That's looking really good. And then finally we are unfortunately going to cover it up again by reinstalling this panel. Alright, so after installing the subwoofer, we're now going to remove the door panel in order to get to that tweeter and this speaker. So first off, we're going to start out by removing two T20 bolts. And then with a plastic tool, we're going to pop covers off to remove some additional bolts. So after disconnecting the door lock mechanism, you would then need to disconnect the door connector, like so. Then a couple of connectors, one, two, and then finally down here, three. So, oh, there we go. So then we would also need to remove this one. There we go. All right, so this tweeter is held in by a few tabs. So by simply popping it out, like this, then remove the cable out of this piece of foam. 
So then we simply remove this cable from the speaker, like so, and remove the other cable as well. So after disconnecting the tweeter and these connectors, we're going to remove this speaker. So there we have our original speaker. Now we're going to install the bath sound speaker. All right, so before installing the speaker in the door, we're first going to install this gasket. So we're going to remove this sticky tape and stick it on like this. So that we have an airtight and soundproof isolation. So then on the other side, we're going to install this gasket. So we're going to run these cables through and have it rest like this. So this is now ready to be installed. All right, in order to get these cables properly installed, we would need to run these through the door. Then there's a hole right here on the other side. We're going to route these cables through that hole so that we can route them along this wiring loom. For that, we would need to take away this piece of vapor shield. So with the Stanley knife, we're going to cut the butyl to peel it back a bit so that we create some space. So this is the hole that we're going to route the cables through. So we're going to start with this one. Damn, that's a tight hole. That's what she said. That's one. And that's two. All right, so now that the cables are through, we're going to install the speaker. So then we're going to have these cables like this. Reinstall the vapor shield again by firmly pressing it on, like so. So then simply connect this one to the main wiring loom, like so. And then we would need to install the tweeter. All right, so first we're going to install the tweeter in the plastic panel. We're going to go ahead and route this through here, up here, down here, all the way down here. There we go. Now I hope that we can create some space for this resistor. First, however, we're going to slide this cover back, like so. So then we're going to fit this back in. All right, like this. So then it's a matter of connecting this to the tweeter, like so. And with this piece of metal wire, we're going to make sure to keep this all in place. There we go. That's never going to rattle. All right, so now that these speakers in the door are installed, we can go ahead and reinstall the door panel. Then it's a matter of installing the speakers and subwoofers on the other side. You'll just have to trust me on this one as you won't be able to see the results. All right, so next up, we're going to replace the speaker and tweeter hiding under this panel. We're going to replace the tweeter with this one and the speaker with this one. All right, so let's grab our tool to do so. No, you were supposed to use the bath sound tools. So let's grab our tool to do so. All right, so as you can see, this allows us access to the speaker and tweeter hiding below that panel. So we're now going to remove these and install the new ones. So these are held in by a couple of T15 bolts. So then we're going to disconnect these. One, two, and th oh, that's it. <laughs> All right, so here we have our new tweeter and speaker. So now we're going to connect the tweeter to the speaker. Then we're going to connect the speaker to the wire of the car. Not sure if you can see that. There we go. All right, so this. I can't even buy, guest. I just can't reach it. There's no space here at all. Oh, all right, so let's see. What do we got? So this speaker is connected now. Um, let's see. All right, so let me come back to you in a bit. So here are the tweeter and the speaker buttoned up. So let's pop this bad boy in position and continue in the back. 
All right, so to get to the speakers in the rear, we folded down the bench so to create some space. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so as with all speakers, we're first gonna pop the cover off. Then it's a matter of removing five T20 screws. So then we're gonna remove these speakers by disconnecting them. One, two. Then we're gonna route the tweeter through the tweeter hole. Tweeter hole. Hmm. Connect the tweeter to the speaker. And then connect the speaker to the car. There we go. And then simply screwing back in the T20 screws. And pop this panel back on. So there we have it. And off camera, I also did this one. So then it's a matter of putting back in the seats. And now it's time for the results. All right, so it's probably hard to let you hear the results, but here is how I recorded the befores and afters. I've also not changed the volume since the install, nor the treble and bass. All right, so Siri, play my favorite playlist. No, no, Siri, Siri, the other one. Siri, just play a random song! So that was it. Great results and really happy with these mods. I truly want to thank Bavsound for supporting the channel. They were super fast to responding to their emails and shipping. I'll put all their information in the description below so go check them out. I love mods like these, keeping the car looking OEM but truly improving it. Having said that, maybe we should get a new amp installed next time, right? Thank you so much for watching and see you next time! Alright, so Siri, play my favorite. Alright, so Siri, play my favorite si- My finger? Alright, Siri, so play my favorite play- Alright, so Siri, play my favorite play- <laughs> Alright, so Siri, play my favorite play- Jesus!